Hello, uh, this is the promotional video of our work titled Ensuring User Side Fairness in Dynamic Recommender Systems. Uh, I, my name is Hyunsik Yu. Uh, I'm a PhD student from University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, and these are my co-authors. So the problem we want to solve is uh, ensuring user side fairness in dynamic recommendations. So uh, for the fairness aspect, we focus on reducing performance disparity among user groups defined by uh, some sensitive attributes like gender, race, or age. And for dynamic aspect, we focus on the setting where uh, the model should continually adapt to newly collected data over time to ensure the high quality recommendations. And as a motivation, we actually observed that uh, the incremental fine tuning with the new data is better than the pre-trained model in terms of the accuracy. And uh, for the fairness, uh, we saw that performance disparity tends to grow or persist over time without the fairness regularization. And uh, in this problem, we identified three challenges, distribution shift, frequent model updates, and non-differentiability of ranking metrics. Our ideas to mitigate these challenges are uh, incremental fine tuning, which is for C1s and C2. And uh, we propose the fairness loss with a uh, differentiable hit for C2 and C3. Uh, more specifically, based on these two ideas, we proposed a new method named FATE. Uh, so it, it uses the incremental fine tuning strategy based on this final loss. Uh, so this is to fine tune the model parameter incrementally only with the new data. So it naturally addresses the C2 because it only used the current data. And it also addresses uh, distribution shift following our fine tuning versus retraining theory. And we also propose the fairness loss, uh, which is based on the differentiable hit. And this DH is uh, the lightweight soft ranking metric for each user. So this can be seen as the surrogate of, of the performance for each user. So based on this DH, we can define the differentiable performance disparity between two user groups like this. And based on this DPD, we can define this fairness loss, uh, which we want to minimize in the, this final loss with the standard recommendation loss.